together again. This is where we finished off in our last video when we ran out of time. We were busy converting between the standard form of y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x minus 6, which is a standard form of a parabola and useful in itself. But we were busy converting it to the turning point form of the parabola, which is very useful to immediately see the coordinates of the turning point. So we have just converted y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. It can be rewritten, but it's exactly the same thing as x minus 1 squared minus 8. If I multiplied out my turning point form, I would get exactly back to my original standard form. So it's just two ways of representing the same thing. And if I go down to example 2, example 2 requires us to use this question. It says, if y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x minus 6 from above, is translated 2 units left and 6 units up to form a new graph which they've decided to call h. What will the axis of symmetry and what will the range be? Now, we already sketched and found out certain things about our parabola above. We noted that it crosses the y-axis at minus 6. We noted that it was a happy parabola. We also worked out the turning point using our negative b over 2a. And we found our turning point to be 1, negative 8. We then answered a question about the axis of symmetry, which is always an imaginary line running straight through the x value of the turning point. Now this question says what will the axis of symmetry be if this graph is translated 2 units left and 6 units up. Now let's just have a quick look at what happens to each of these points. If I translate this graph 2 units left, 1 unit, 2 units, so my x value of my turning point would now be at negative 1. And if I translate it at 6 units up, it would move up this turning point from negative 8 until a y value of negative 2. So my vertical translation changes my y value of my turning point, and it moved up 6 units to minus 2. And my horizontal translation changes my x value of my turning point to negative 1. There's no change in the shape, so my original shape and my current shape are exactly the same. It was not stretched or reflected. So it's quite easy for me to realize what the axis of symmetry is. The axis of symmetry has now become x is equal to minus 1. It's still an imaginary line going straight down through the x value of my turning point, which has now become negative 1. My next question, what is the range of h of x? We realized in the previous question that range is what are the y values that are produced by this graph? What y values does this graph produce? Now again, I can see because the shape hasn't changed, this graph has a minimum value, which means it's any y value above that minimum value. And that minimum value is minus 2. So y will be anything greater than or equal to minus 2.